so this one was a little tricky for me to figure out, but I learned a few things along the way, and the best part is, you get to know about it too now. Normally, a harmonic dive is picked, but in this clip at the actual recording of the Mjolnir mix of the Halo theme, you can actually see Steve Vai flick some kind of mini switch instead to activate that sound. If you couldn't figure it out, he's using a sustainer pickup in his signature Ibanez guitar model. For those who don't know, a sustainer pickup makes controlled feedback sustain, similar to what you would get if you stood your guitar in front of your amp speakers. Now, this footage was recorded in the early 2000s, so at this point in time, it's difficult to see the exact guitar he used. Because any non-professional camera at the time would have had the quality of a potato. So here's a picture of the guitar Steve I used for Halo 2, or at least a similar model. There's your pickup, and there are your switches. So does this mean it's impossible to achieve that iconic dive without a sustainer pickup? Not entirely. Now it may not be exact, but plucking the 5th fret harmonic on the E string and then doing a slow dive still does the job in my opinion. Make sure to use plenty of distortion and delay, otherwise it's going to sound pretty lame. <laughs> 